In this uh, video, we're going to learn how to use the CAN board for doing some Agile-like management and planning over two-week cycles. If you look at the current screen, you'll see there's three tasks that are underway for the current sprint, and that which have not been completed. The one that has been completed was actually to plan the sprint. And you can see in the backlog we've put in, don't forget, kind of a reminder not to forget to set up the next sprint meeting in a couple of days' time. This is showing the view by status, and it's a current and future sprints. If we change the filter to no filter, we'll see that some of the old completed sprints will also appear. Yeah. To her. But now let's have a look at the grid view. In this grid view, you can see things are quite nicely organized. All the tasks related to sprint one and next to sprint one, to next to two or next to two, next to three or next to three. Let's add one more task and see what happens. Go back to card view. Say there's actually one more task in this current sprint that I forgot to put in. I'm going to put it in. So I'm going to add a card, I'm going to type it in. Baseline. Okay, so there's that card. We've added a task. What does it look like in grid view? Well, we're here, see it's sticking down at the bottom. We can clean that up. We can delete, take row 10 and delete it. But be careful, when you delete a row, it's gone forever. It's in sprint three, it should be up here. Oh, what we didn't do is we didn't add a sprint number. You could add it here, type of three here. Or if you're doing a card, you could make it a habit to always put in what sprint it belongs to. So we put it in here. So when we go back to grid view, we'll see it's over here, but it's still not up there. So what we can do is we can right click on the top of a column to sort by it. So sort rows. And then the, 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 the keep nice, all the tasks related to sprint three will be next to each other tasks get completed just before you can move them over and just as before you can turn on the filter to only look at recent things. Let's leave it on no filter again. Let's go back and have a look at the grid view. When you look in this grid view you'll see that there's text in blue. And you could sit there and mark it in blue but actually I've used a thing called conditional formatting. This little color box here it says if the title contains the word sprint then make the whole rule blue. So that does it automatically. Let's test it. Let's add the next sprint for planning purpose, number seven. So we type number seven here. Let's type the word plan. And I'm not going to put the word sprint in yet for now. And let's say that's going to be from the 22nd of January to the 5th of February. So that's the two-week period we're using our planning. And let's say that, may, that means the meeting should be on the 22nd of January. Let's add that date. 22nd of January. OK. But it hasn't gone blue. Why not? Because we haven't got the word sprint in there. I'm just going to go before the seven and put in the word sprint. And now it'll automatically turn blue, which is quite helpful. So we can have this nice, easy to read layout. OK, let's add one more task. Let's go back to the card view. And suppose we wanted to add a, one more task here. And this task is to complete the view okay this is telling me I haven't saved for a while so I'll save whenever I see that I pop it up and save it <laughs> complete the view of other services in the countries again what we should do I should assign it to a sprint it's sprint three. Okay. And let's go and have a look at the grid now. It's down there again. Oh, we, we, we remember we can sort. Sort and then it'll go up. That's nice. And well, we haven't put any dates. If you put in dates when things start and finish, that's quite useful as well. And you can keep track of how things are going and how long they took. <coughs> you can also use the filter in the grid view. So this one's only look at current and future sprints, so these are tasks that are incomplete. Very often in the grid view, though, you don't want to filter. You want to be able to see everything out, laid out. Let's go back to the cards over here. So over here you can see, and as before, when things are finished, you can move them over. Let's put the filter on, current and future sprints, so that let's suppose the workshop's been done, it's been completed. This one hasn't been started. This one hasn't been started. This one has been progress, and let's say this one's finished. So this is as before, and when we go back to the grid view, you'll see 
this is with this filter on. Let's take off the filter. Everything's still well organized, but the status here has changed. So the grid and card views are quite well linked. The grid view, though, does allow you to manipulate things more easily, like dates. For example, you might want to say this date. Let's say the date when all these t task trees happen one day after the workshop on the 28th of November. They were assigned one day later. You could then take these two dates. Oops. If you make a mistake, you can undo it. You could take that date, control C, and paste it down to the two columns below to save time. You could take this date and paste it down to complete the bottom two lines as well. OK, that completes the dates. When you put dates in, it allows you to make more. You can also sort according to both the sprint, and you could also sort by start date, for example, as well. And that may sometimes, in complicated grid views, make things easier to see. Thank you very much. So in this short video, you learned about how to use coloring in, in the grid view to help separate out the different tasks in the same sprint.